This is what a billionaire's life is like in Dubai. Here's what it's like to be a billionaire in the UAE. First up is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The ruler of Dubai is one of the world's richest billionaires, with a net worth of $13.9 billion. He was the first person to receive a custom-made Mercedes-Benz G55 AMG. The top speed of this car is 220 km per hour and costed about $3.9 million. Sheikh Mohammed Al Mokdum's car collection is world class. To say the least, some of the highlights include a $1.3 million Mercedes G550, a $13 million Mercedes G650, a $1.2 million Bugatti Veyron Pegaso Edition, a $5.7 million Rolls Royce Ghost in Custom Gold, a $12.8 million Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe and a $1.8 million modified New Devil 16. Respectively, the Devil 16 is said to be able to churn out an eye-popping 5,000 horsepower from its quad-turbo V16 engine with a top speed that exceeds 300 miles per hour. Production cars that broke the 1,000 horsepower barrier have only recently come into being. So this Devil 16 was definitely ahead of its time. In addition to his multi-million pound property portfolio, he has interests assets and ventures all over the UK. Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum has built a series of lavish homes including a £75 million Syria estate, a historic Suffolk mansion and a sprawling Highland retreat covering 63,000 acres. As a close ally of the UK and friend of the Queen, his assets and country houses bear witness to his deep ties to the country. In 2019, Sheikh Mohammed bought the historic Dulham Hall for £45 million to be used as a stud farm near the famous New Market racetrack. Over 20 years ago, he bought this 63,000 acre Highland estate in Westeros for £2 million. There are 58 bedrooms, a triple helipad and a 16 bedroom hunting lodge. His other business interests include the airline Emirates which he founded. A shirt sponsored deal with Arsenal is worth $200 million and he owns the naming rights to their North London Stadium. Hussein Sichwani known by some as the Donald Trump of Dubai due to his shrewd marketing extensive real estate portfolio and a net worth of $2.7 billion. He's got big bucks and he knows how to spend it. The real estate tycoon has been doing well, he owns Demac Properties. In 2015, the company generated $2.3 billion in revenue with a net margin of over 50%. Since 2002 his company has built 15,500 apartments and has another 40,000 apartments under construction or planned across the UAE and abroad. The incredible success of the mock has earned Sijuani the spot on the world's billionaires list. Abdullah bin Ahmad Al Guraya founded Mashriq Bank, a leading bank in the UAE in 1967. He now has a net worth of over $3.1 billion and has since stepped down as chairman but remains on the board. Al Guraya Foods has the biggest pasta factory in the Middle East too. Partial construction of the Dubai Metro and the Burj Khalifa was done by his company as well. Sounds unbelievable doesn't it, but it's just another example of how Dubai is populated by the uber rich. There are gold atoms in Dubai that only dispense gold coins, bars and medallions, but are also made of gold. As with any other ATM machine, you can swipe your card and the gold comes out instead of cash. In addition to food construction and real estate, his holding company is run mostly by his very large family. They make big bucks for the company and know how to spend it too. Forbes estimated that he is worth $2 billion making him part of one of the wealthiest families in the UAE. Abdullah Al Fateh Motors is the largest automobile and automotive products distributor in the United Arab Emirates. 
Alpha Tame cars account for 4 out of every 10 cars on the UAE roads. He has more than 150 retail outlets in the UAE alone, more than any other retailer. It represents some of the world's most popular retail brands as well. Among them are Marks and Spencer, IKEA, Ace, Toys R Us, Ladybug and many more. With money like that might as well buy a boat, well it's not quite a boat but the family has owned many yachts over. The years including the yacht Quadril and the 52 meter ML's Radiant now called Lightning. The yacht is worth upwards of 300 million dollars. Due to their extravagant lifestyles the elite class of Dubai have developed some unusual spending habits which may seem outrageous to the rest of us. When you tell people in Dubai that the number on your license plate actually cost more than they never even bat an eye.